these were metastatic, mostly metastatic, over 75% of the patients were metastatic, had castration-resistant prostate cancer, and had failed at least two hormonal manipulations. So we treated them with LBH589, with bicalutamide, which is the anti-androgen standard of care, commercially available, generic, right? And, and LBH589 at two dose levels, first to see tolerance and toxicity, and then to see efficacy. So we did have a learning curve to, we realized that minimal symptoms, we didn't have any fatal incidents. We had grade three or four in, in a, a very small number of patients. In the vast majority of these patients, the grade three or four was just a, a number finding, you know, the platelets had decreased, but had post no life threatening and immediately went up. Um, more grade two and three, more fatigue than, you know, that was one of the complaints and some gastrointestinal side effects like diarrhea that were easily controlled by decreasing the dose and in that way we determined that of the two dose levels we could identify a dose that was well tolerated and some patient a subset of patients in fact about 9 of 21 patients uh, were able to go on these treatments for up to six months and a smaller subgroup up to 27 months and 28 months uh, without evidence of radiographic progression by bone scans or CT scans.